And now a year into the coronavirus pandemic, and we're a couple of months into providing a vaccine to millions of Americans here in Abilene. There may be a new and different way to sign up to receive those shots. Absolutely. It will still require computer and internet access, and the new system still has to be okayed by city council. KTAB's Marley Capper explains how the new process would work. Long wait times on the phone, or calls from unknown numbers, could soon be over. We will be changing the sign up process soon. With a new software program called Inoculate, City Manager Robert Hanna says the way we're handling the vaccine signups now is not efficient. And it's heavily labor intensive because we've got to call them back, we've got to schedule them, we, they don't return the call, they don't answer the phone if we call. Annette Lerma, Director of Public Health, says the new software will allow people to set up their own appointments. It's going to give them a QR code that basically they'll walk into the um, the clinic with, they'll show the QR code, we'll scan it and send them right on back to get their vaccine. And this is what that QR code will look like. Once you fill out your forms and information, the program will give you a box like this. Then once you get to a clinic, like Lerma said, they'll scan it and have your information ready to go. We asked some people at Rose Park Senior Center if they thought the new system would be easier for them than the current one. I think it would really help. Yes. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, ma'am. I do. Yeah. It's probably so. And while some have gotten their first rounds of vaccines, I went and signed up too, but I waited for about three weeks. Some are still waiting, and they said they would prefer the new system so they can have peace, knowing they're on the schedule. But until then, you need to make sure that you're answering calls from unknown numbers and numbers with no caller ID. If approved by council, the program will take about four to five weeks to be implemented. In Abilene with coverage, you can count on Marley Capper, KTAB News. Thank you, Marley. About 10,000 people remain on the health district's waiting list. Those will continue to be processed under the current plan.